What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of me doing random stuff with my Tacoma. Today we are getting into installing the ABS Bug Deflector 1 and 2. Alright, now that we know what we're doing, let's get into the unboxing. Today we're unboxing the ABS Bug Deflector 1 and the ABS Bug Deflector 2. Um, they both run around the same price. I think one's about $45 and the other one's about $42 before tax, but let's talk about some of the differences. So both of these are pretty similar in length. They're both about 60 inches long and one's about three inches wide and the other is three and a half inches wide. So that's pretty much just the big difference between the bug deflector one and two. While we're unwrapping these bug deflectors, what are you guys' thoughts? Um, just initially, right off the bat, which one do you think looks better? It's kind of hard to tell at this point, but we'll see how it looks later on in the truck. So, I, I kid you not, the AVS Bug Deflector 1 did not come with hardware, which is odd. Um, so that's kind of a big deal because you get this thing and then you can't really install it but so far I'm kind of liking the bug deflector too a lot of people complain about these being damaged um, and for the most part they're not really damaged from as far as I can see so this was a good batch so I guess I could consider myself very lucky um, but both bug deflectors are not damaged um, they both come with the logo right here, which you could actually remove. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of digging the bug deflector too, just because it's a little bit bigger. Looks a little meaner. This one's sleeker. Um, and it pretty much has the same. It's pretty much the same. So I'm going to see if I could use the hardware from the bug deflector too on the bug deflector one. So let's get into the installation. What's up guys? Um, J. Michael here again, coming back at you to let you know that I made a mistake. So I was editing and I was literally looking at the directions and just staring at the diagram, which I'll put right here. And basically I put the washers in the wrong place. So up right just in a few moments, I'll show you what I do with the washers and how I place them. Um, just for some reason, that's, that's how I interpreted it. But after looking at it twice, it was actually the other way around. So at the end of this video, it does rub for me. Um, and it may still rub for you if you guys um, end up installing this the other way. Um, but if it does rub, I'll show you how to fix it. But I don't know, totally made a bonehead move. And I just want to let you guys know too. Pay attention to the directions because there's a lot of knowledge there. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so now that you open the box, you're gonna need a few tools. So the first tool you're probably gonna need is you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. This is for screwing in the screws after you push in those housings. You're probably gonna need some scotch tape, some electrical tape, and then also some microfiber towels for a clean installation. So let's talk about what these tools are used for. In your bug deflector, you have these holes. Each hole is gonna is the entry point for screws, and then the back point should be a washer. But when going into installation, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, so that's where the tape comes in. So what you wanna do, I'll flip this around for you guys is, I don't even know if you can see it. Good, like that. So there's a hole right here. So what you wanna do, and these aren't the washers that you're using. The washers you use are plastic. I'm just kinda using these for kinda like a reenactment. Okay. So you're gonna take this washer and you wanna put it over the hole but with the hole you want to make sure that you could see through the hole because you don't want it to be off center 
or just like all around because this thing flexes and you wanna make sure that it's in the right place, right? So once you find exactly where you want it to go, you're gonna take some tape and you're gonna put this on the back of the washer like this. This one has some hair on it. It's a lot of hair in my house with dogs. Um, and you wanna make sure it lines up like this. So once it lines up, it'll stay there and you won't be struggling to kind of put in the washer with the screw. So that's major, major, majorly important. After it's in there, you could either use a screw, which I ran out because of installation, but the screw was the easiest thing to use, right? So for this one, I'm gonna use my knife and you just wanna poke a hole through the tape. Wow, this thing cuts like butter. Poke a hole through the tape so when you put the screws in, it's not gonna end up accidentally pushing out the uh, washer and moving it out of place. Okay, so after you get your screws in place, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna protect your car. So this is the front of the bug deflector and this is the back, right? So the front has this kind of like stair stepping action. So here's like the first step and it goes up and it goes the second step. And it's really hard to see on camera, but basically these points of contact is where your car may potentially rub. So what you wanna do is you wanna take electrical tape and you want to just kind of line the whole entire thing, just like that. So you're gonna wanna line it so it doesn't rub, it doesn't hit, and you just wanna line this whole entire thing and underneath so that it kind of creates a circular extra level of protection. And you wanna do the same thing for this side all the way around and also this side as well. So I put a piece of strip there. I'm not guaranteeing it's gonna save your car, but it definitely helps. So if you wanna protect your car, either don't get this or put electrical tape. So <laughs> yeah. So. Once you, can, once you finish doing that, you'll be ready to take it outside. And yeah, so let's go outside. All right, now that we're outside and we got the hood open, we're gonna wanna take our plastic housings and we're gonna to wanna to place those into these empty holes indicated in our instructions. There's about six different holes for these housings to go, so be careful because there's actually eight holes in this hood, and I'll show you in just a second which holes to skip. One thing you wanna keep in mind is that you put one here, skip this one, put, put, skip, put, put, skip, and then put. So. There's a few things there that you need to do. Okay, so first things first, what you want to do is you want to take a microfiber towel and just kind of place them up on the hood like this. This is to kind of help prevent you from scratching your hood when putting on the ABS bug deflector and lining it up. It's not necessarily a necessary step, but it is kind of like an extra precaution you can take to kind of protect your paints. And I think it was pretty useful. Um, so what you want to do is you want to start by screwing in all the way to the left or all the way to the right and then work your way to the other side. Um, ideally, you want to like work on one screw and then remove the towel, work on another screw, remove the towel. but. I wasn't able to catch this on film, so this is just kind of what I have. And then after you're done, make sure that all the screws are snug, but not necessarily too tight because you don't want to strip the housing. Um, and yeah, you should be good. 
Now that everything's screwed in place, what you just want to do is clean up your work area and then you got to let the hood drop. So I was kind of a little bit paranoid about dropping it at first, but I sucked it up and I just dropped it. The camera is kind of shaky, but the bug deflector did turn out pretty nice. This is the AVS bug deflector one. And as we predicted, it looks pretty slim, but the profile looks actually pretty nice. So I'm kind of excited to show you guys what the bug deflector two looks like and excuse the bird poop right there. Okay, so I'm gonna install the bug deflector too. I'm gonna to fast forward this video because it's pretty much the same exact installation. The only difference is that it's a different part. So yeah, let's take a look at what it looks like. So on the left, we have the AVS bug deflector one and on the right, we have the AVS bug deflector two. A little quick disclaimer, I think that the way that I took this photo well, one makes the Tacoma on the left look way cooler than the Tacoma on the right, even though they're the exact same truck. And it does make the ABS bug deflector one look slightly bigger than it actually is. Um, they do look similar in this photos, but if you look very closely, the ABS bug deflector two is bigger. It is about a half inch to an inch bigger. And in my opinion, it looks a little bit better. Um, so just curious to what you guys think and yeah, let's continue on to the rest of this install. So the big question is, does it bump? Does it rub? And the answer is yes. Um, for the headlights, it does actually bump and it does actually bump on the red fiberglass portion of the front grille. So you're gonna need some alcohol and you want to use this alcohol with a microfiber towel to clean off the areas where you're going to apply a bumper. I didn't really see a good area on the headlights, so I chose to place the bumpers on the ABS bug deflector. Now that you got things cleaned up, you're going to want to partially close your hood like this so that you could install some bumpers. Um, I ended up having to install a bumper on both the right headlight and the left headlight. Um, I also went ahead and installed some bumpers on the center portion and I put two to make things symmetrical, but this is kind of what it looks like all in kind of like all put together. So I put the bumpers on the actual bug deflector because there wasn't really any good places to put on the actual Tacoma. Um, and I just didn't want to damage the paint or have to use a heat gun to remove these later. So this is kind of what it looks like. All right, now that we're done with that, we're gonna be moving on to the last step, which is just basically installing more bumpers. I ended up buying these at Home Depot because the kit only came with four, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna install these bumpers on the backs because this visor is a little bit flexible right here. And you wanna put some bumpers to prevent your paint from kind of like getting thrashed on or something. So yeah, I end up putting bumpers just on the left side and on the right side, and then of course two in the middle, just so in case something happens, someone does something dumb, like lean on the car or something like that, it's not gonna mess up the paint and it's gonna keep everything fresh. Okay, that just about wraps this up. That was the installation video for the AVS Bug Deflector 1 and the Bug Deflector 2. Um, the installation was a little bit more complicated than I predicted, and it took me about like an hour and a half to two hours just because I was switching between the Bug Deflector 1 and the Bug Deflector 2. Um, be sure to use some electrical tape to prevent some rubbing and make sure to utilize those bumpers so that it doesn't bang against your headlight. So yeah, hopefully this video is helpful. And if you like this video, comment down below, maybe even like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.